create a contact sheet in Lightroom, first thing that we need to do is open up the photos that we want to be in uh, our contact sheet. So wherever you have them, whether you create a collection or it's by a certain date, uh, go ahead and have those open. And the first thing that we need to do is go to the print tab up here on your menu bar. So once we click on print, first thing you're probably going to see is just the photo, the first photo in your your group there. Uh, what we want to do is on this left side, and there's a good chance that your template browser is uh, collapsed, so maximize or expand that. You may need to expand the Lightroom template, so just click these triangles and it'll, it'll maximize and open them. Start by clicking on the 4x5 contact sheet. Then go over to this far side. Again, if any of these are closed, just click these little triangles to open them up. First thing we're going to do is go to Stroke Border, put a check mark there, click on the black rectangle, and change that to white. And then we're going to uh, change this here to 0.5 and press Return. We're going to go down below into Layout. By bottom here, we're going to change that to 1. And again, press Enter or Return. On your grid, we're going to change that to 4 on rows and 3 on columns. And then for cell spacing for vertical, we're going to change that to 0.15. Everything else is good in that panel. So we're going to go down to Guides. If this happens to be checked and you have a bunch of squares over here, just uncheck that. Uh, make sure that that's unchecked and by default the rest will be unchecked. I'm going to go ahead and go down to Page, our next panel. We're going to click Page Background Color. Click on the white rectangle and change that to black. I'm going to go down below, click on Identity Plate. You should see your name up here, uh, right in the middle here. We're going to change our scale right here to 20%, so 20 and Enter. And then we're going to click and drag this guy all the way down to the bottom corner. Make sure that you leave a little bit of breathing room on the edge. Don't bring it right up to the edge, uh, but pretty close. We're going to keep going down and next to photo info, that should already be checked, but we're going to click on file name and we're going to go to edit. When we do that, we're going to delete file name right here. So just press the backspace. We're going to go down to EXIF data and choose exposure wherever that happens to be and you can click any of these um, and choose exposure and it will automatically put it in there if it doesn't click on insert and then press the space bar to put a space up here the next thing that we're going to add is our uh, file name and so we're going to click on file name here and choose file name number suffix again that'll dump it up there if it doesn't happen to again click insert press another space and we're going to go down to numbering and we're going to choose this second option date with a four digit year two digit month two digit day and click insert there try it again there we go so now we have these three uh, in uh, an, an example of what it's going to look like up above we want to save this as a preset so we don't have to do this every time so click on this bar at the top and go down to Save Current Settings as a new preset, and we're going to title that Contact Sheet. And click on Create. And go ahead, click Done at the bottom. And if you notice over here, next to Photo Info now, it says Contact Sheet. We're going to go down to Print To, change from Printer to JPEG File, uncheck Draft Mode, Next to File Resolution, change that to 150. Leave Print Sharpening Low and Glossy, JPEG should be 100. And then we're going to go back over here to the Template Browser. Click on the plus. We want to save this whole operation, everything that we've done as a preset. We're going to name this Contact Sheet also. Okay, so Contact Sheet and click on Create. It should now show up down here under User Templates as your Contact Sheet. So anytime you want to create a contact sheet, regardless of what you've been using over here, you can just click on contact sheet. All those settings that we, we put in here are now there. To get all your photos to show up into the contact sheet, click on your first one and press Command-A. That will select all of them. You can click the arrow right here 
to navigate through each of the pages. You can see what we've got there. And then when you're ready to export it so that you can save it to Canvas or however you're going to turn it in, click on Print File. From there, you're going to click on OneDrive, your Photo One class or Photo Two, depending on where you're at. Click on Projects. And then within Projects, you're going to save it. And this is going to create a folder with all of your contact sheets in it. So try to be organized. And so this was a practice uh, contact sheet. Um, you could name it that, or since we are you guys were taking photos of scavenger hunt, you could label it scavenger hunt contact sheet. However, you're going to stay organized is, and whatever works best for you and makes the most sense. In the projects folder, you can do whatever you want in there. Uh, remember, we're not going in the new photos or Lightroom photo or Lightroom folder. Uh, leave those alone. So projects, do what you will with that one. So you got to click save and make sure that you wait until all of this is finished. It's preparing your print job and then it'll save them all in there. Obviously, the more photos, the longer it'll take, but that'll be in there and we'll be ready to go for when you're uh, wanting to upload that uh, to submit your project. So hope this helps. And if you have any questions, let me know.